So, I'm, uh, I'm back in Pattaya for the last six days. And I just want to show you this public transportation that they have here. It costs only 10 baht, you know, from John Tian Beach to Pattaya. Uh, we can have to go from the other side. Uh, to see how, how nice this public transportation is actually. It's like a, like a fucking taxi or something. Just to sit on the back and uh, yeah, it only costs like 10 baht, it's like 30 cents or something. It's incredible. Incredible way to to go to anywhere in Pattaya, basically. Any, anywhere in Pattaya, you know? Just, uh, yeah. Jump Tien to Pattaya, so it doesn't matter if you like uh, go like one hour or uh, no, 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 private. It doesn't really matter if you go one hour or just uh, 10 minutes, it costs the same, you know, so that's interesting. Let's see which one stops first because I <laughs> just want to go, go out and have some dinner because my girlfriend from Vietnam is coming tomorrow here. So I just want to enjoy a night out in Pattaya. Let's see which one comes, which one stops first, you know, which, which taxi. This, uh, basically it's not a taxi, it's basically this is a part of a tra public transportation system in Pattaya. And it only costs about, like I said, only costs about 10 baht, 10 baht. This is, uh, yeah, I told you, about, uh, let's say about 30 cents, 35 cents, so anyway, it's like, 30, uh, 30 baht is one dollar, so yeah, it's very cheap actually. Let's see. Of course, at night time, they, sometimes they want a little bit more money, but fuck it, you know, just ignore it. Just give them 10 baht, you know, or something. Fuck it. Why, but I don't know, sometimes I think they just, just don't stop, you know. Although it's a public transportation. But still, they don't stop. So you don't can do nothing, you know, like in Thailand. What the fuck can you do? You know, like complain about it. What the fuck? R write a complaint <laughs> to the public transportation company. I don't think it's such a good idea. So what the fuck, you know? Yeah, it's basically a hustle, you know, like each taxi you want to get a little bit extra money from you so yeah, that, that's normal but uh, let's see the next one will come here let's see the next one and uh, the next one who stops actually because it's not so easy to find one who stops you know taxi Let's see which one. Hello. This here, I have to wait for the taxi to uh, to to Pattaya, no? Oh, this yeah. one is okay, yes. no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, be careful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So now this one stopped, actually. Let's see. <coughs> Some taxis don't stop. Some of these don't stop because. Yeah. No? Well. Why? Why do you think so? Can I ask you, there, there are some private taxis? I this is why they don't stop or, or just uh, they don't want to stop? Like? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter.
So this is basically the cheapest way, the most, of course, the most dangerous, <laughs> but the most, the funniest way to get around here in Pattaya. This taxi that only costs 10 cents. But that's quite fun, you know, just staying outside the car. And uh, yeah, or you can stay inside also. Very funny, actually. And uh, yeah, what can I say? It's a Some people actually, some idiots also you, you can, you can uh, find here also, like anywhere. Let's say you don't want to be filmed, fuck it. If you're a motherfucking public transportation, you're subject to, how can I say, filming or something, you know, because basically you are in a public space, public place, so. If you have some such fucking high expectancy of privacy, maybe you should get a motherfucking cab, you know, a motherfucking taxi or something, you know, don't just, okay, so, uh, Yeah. Right? I mean, basically people who have a lot of high expectancy of not being filmed or some maybe they should get a motherfucking cab or something, you know, don't just go on a normal taxi because I think everywhere in the world a public space, like a public transportation is a public place or something, so fuck off, you know? Okay? Okay? Alright? It's good that I'm filming because if something happens, I have a proof, you know, so whatever, that's how it is. So basically this is how it is, basically people who don't understand democracy, everywhere in the world you can find them. I mean, they have a really high expectancy of privacy within a public transportation. Of course I don't film anybody who don't want to be filmed, of course, but uh, if it happens to film a little bit, I mean, just, I'm sorry, but they're a public space, so, public place, so get a motherfucking limousine if you want to be like 100% privacy, you know. That's how it is actually. But 
not everybody knows these things, you know. This, basically, these rules are available in Europe, everywhere. Russia, America, everywhere, Africa. So, I mean, just, I'm just filming a little bit outside here in Pattaya. Just, and, uh, yeah. Some people act a little bit uh, crazy if they don't want to be filmed. Of course, I don't want to film somebody against their will, but I mean, if you just film like the... That's how it is. Don't give a shit. <coughs> Yeah. That's 
This guy just went off, you know, this guy uh, was a little bit crazy about being filmed or something, you know. Starting to act a little bit crazy. When you are on a motherfucking public transportation, you shouldn't have so much expectancy for privacy. But of course, I didn't feel him, but film him, but uh, he just uh, went a little bit crazy. He said, oh, you don't want to be filmed. Okay, sorry. You don't want to be filmed, you get a motherfucking cab or something, you know, a motherfucking limousine or something. Oh, anyway, but let's just enjoy the rest of the ride to Pattaya Central Festival. Don't mind these fucking idiots, you know, that just want, don't want to be filmed. I don't, don't film anybody, just film myself, you know. So, 
sorry if, if by mistake you film somebody, of course, I'm sorry, but I mean, like I said, you're on a motherfucking public transportation service, so you don't have to, you shouldn't have such a high expectancy of privacy, you know, like, uh, like if you're on a motherfucking limousine or private taxi or something, whatever, anyway, there's fucking idiots everywhere. I don't know where this guy was from, Australia, Europe, England, I, I don't give a shit, I don't care, but anyway, it's not good. If you're playing, start playing like a fucking, fucking idiot, you know, start uh, acting like a fucking jerk, you know, without reason, it's not good, you know. So, just for everybody who things that because I have some colleagues actually there back in Sweden who act like this and also and so now nobody can film me or something no it's not fucking little fucking like this basically if you are in a public space public place yes of course everybody can film you no fucking problem <laughs> of course you should let's say if somebody films you from very close place that could be a little bit of a problem but Otherwise, there's no motherfucking problem at all, you know, you just, uh, you know, just walk it off or something, you know. It's not like a fucking central festival here. Okay. Let's see if I can get off here. I mean, right? So, am I right or not? Stop here, so let me get off first, pay the driver and then then go go back on my my path. Bye bye. So how about this central festival place and uh, again let's forget about this motherfucking jerk you know who tried to say to me that I cannot film him because they're motherfucking public transportation. Atmosphere, oh, what the fucking crazy, it's like some motherfucking festival here or something. Unbelievable how Thailand, how touristy, how touristic you look at this place, like, man, food, everything, you just have it anywhere. You can meet nice people and absolutely incredible, like Thailand is... This is there is a reason that why they are on tenth place of, of the, in the world in uh, regarding uh, tourism yeah, because of this, you know. So let's see. What should I eat here? I don't know. Can I get some something here to eat? Fucking crazy, I mean. What the fuck? Fucking crazy. I don't know if they have some beer here or something, you know? Look at this seafood, you know? <laughs> Sweet seafood. Unbelievable. It's fucking believable. You have a kebab or something? What the fuck? Chicken kebab. Hello, hello. Can I have a chicken kebab? Yeah, yeah. You have beer also? You have beer also? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Do you have beer also? Beer? Yeah. Chunk beer. Beer all oh, day. Get there. Okay, yeah. okay. Can I have a chicken kebab, please? Yeah, this spicy, one. Spicy, Miha. Sorry? Spicy. Spicy, spicy yeah, spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Street food in Thailand is amazing, yeah, like really so much street food here, unbelievable. Man. Thailand is the best, no? Street <laughs> kebab, I don't know. Man, it's really, really hot, you know? Hot. Oh. Very hot. Can I say Pattaya is hot because of the kebab or because of other things, no? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Okay, so I stop the filming now uh, because I want to have this kebab and uh, see you in the next video. No? So let's see here in Pattaya if it works to, for me, in, uh, which I'm 43 years old. Trying to pick up a 20 something years old. Let's see. Let's see if it works. It just is a real deal. No fucking motherfucking fake or something. I don't know if she's waiting for somebody. I don't know if she's for money or not. But I'm just gonna try to pick her up just to see if it works. Like a really Thai beautiful girl. I probably don't think it's gonna be working. But let's say. See now if it works. I, if it, this works, I mean it's crazy. Like, but I don't, I don't think it, it's gonna be working. But let's say. Hello. Can I say hello to you? Why? Yes. I just wanted to say hello to you. Are Thai? Yes. Oh. No, it's all. Have a nice evening. So you see. Basically, this girl was not really available. I'm sorry, I just, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit. Of, oh, sorry. You see, basically, it's not really like this, like available. Not every girl is available. I mean, it's, that's how it is. You gotta take one full of team, you know? So basically, for those of you who think that Thailand is just gonna walk up to a 19, 20 year old girl and just say to her hello and just uh, gonna take her to her room, it's not, it's not the case. Basically, it's some girls, they are on the street, prostitutes. Basically, it's the same as everywhere else. Like, some prostitutes are on the street selling their body, but most of the girls are not so let's say if you're in thailand don't just don't try to pick you up, pick up any girl because it's not gonna work you're just uh, gonna embarrass yourself you know <laughs> just try to pick up the i mean if you want to take a prostitute to your hotel room it's okay but not to uh, Pick up any girl on the street because it's not gonna work, you know. I just prove it to you now, right now. Huh? What a nice dog here! <laughs> so nice dog, like really. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So beautiful dog. What? <laughs> Incredible. What? <laughs> French bulldog or something? French bulldog, huh? So beautiful, so big. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, buddy. How are you doing? You want to get a massage or something? What? You don't want to get a massage? No? Maybe a back massage or something would make you feel better. No? 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 What do you think? No. You would, I think you would look like you need a massage or something, no? No? Maybe not. Maybe later, a back massage or something, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice dog, you know. Maybe come later for a massage. <laughs> so you see, basically, as I was telling you before, yeah, it's not like this to just approach any girl in Thailand who's like 19, 20 year old and just she's gonna follow you to a hotel room. That's that's not not true. That's not the case. It's just some girls. They are girls. They are on the street, working girls. No, just normal girls, you know, like, I mean, <laughs> this is how it is, basically. So, don't get these false motherfucking expectations about Pattaya or something. Yeah, you just, if you go to the right places, you get action, but not everywhere, not everybody is a prostitute, you know. Okay, so, see you a little bit later. So, for those of you that you think that just gonna walk walk on to the some 20 year old, 19 year old beautiful girl here in Thailand that just she's gonna go back to you with your hotel with you, I mean that's not the case basically. 
you have all these beautiful girls everywhere, but you have to work your, work your way up a little bit to earn them a little bit, I mean, even to establish some kind of a relationship with them or just pay them, but it's not gonna work like, just like this in two seconds, you know? So beautiful girls here. But uh, as I told you, it's not like this. You just walk up to somebody and just uh, like that. Thailand is not like that, basically. And uh, you have to respect that because Thai people are proud people, and they're not just gonna uh, just gonna go with you to the hotel for 30 bucks or something. Just with, I mean, no hassle, nothing. That's not it's not gonna work like that. You know? Of course, there are many bars and you can find many girls here. But uh, as I told you, it's not gonna just walking up to somebody and uh, just take it to the hotel. It's not, it's not, not working like this. Cheers. I'm gonna go to Soy 6 a little bit later to show you this place, how it looks like. It's another normal street here in Thailand. interesting about this now. I'm just gonna film a little bit. Tomorrow my girlfriend from Vietnam is coming here so yeah, I have to be a good boy. If you can call it a good boy in Pattaya. Let's see how it is. the quality of music here, live music. Thailand's very good, although they, I don't think they get paid so much here. I mean, these people who sing live music, but really good quality. So, I mean, it's a delight to, to go in this park, you see, like... the corners you see these bars you know absolutely incredible so many bars with live music I mean I think I'm gonna go in one of these bars later <coughs> let's see this Pattaya place is like so incredible absolutely incredible like so so the amount of hot I mean really hot girls who are available it's Absolutely insane, I mean, just insane, insane is a place, like everywhere, basically on the streets, everywhere. You see, I mean, this is like a motherfucking paradise, if you want to just have fun, no, like, that's something unthinkable, like unthinkable, <laughs> just... Just, I mean, just imagine, if, let's say if you're in your own country and just imagine that you walk in on the street and uh, basically most, girl are, most girls are available for, let's say, 30 to 40 bucks. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Beautiful girl. I'm not talking about just old fart or something, you know. So, let's say I just... Stop the video now and film a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs>